The other thing that you get that is also quite powerful is you get triggers. OK, and this is basically Microsoft took their outbound marketing where people were building a lot of journeys and journeys, which I'll show you now is you have how do people enter is your first thing that you do. So how do I get people in here? Either they've been added to a marketing list or it's because they submitted a form um, and they started to see what do marketeers use again and again and what could be a simple trigger? What can we turn into a trigger? That means as soon as this happens, there will be an action that follows it. And what's great about this is Microsoft created a lot of out of the box triggers already for you. OK, so you can just come in here like text message bounce, text message delivered, opportunity created. You can come in and you can already just add these onto a journey for yourself and say every time an opportunity is created, um, message them, email the marketing manager or if it's created and it's above a certain value or coming from a marketing source lead, um, alert the marketing manager. So it's giving a lot of these already out of the box, which makes that journey a lot quicker because the entry entry points a lot quicker and it's always live um, and you can also create custom ones okay so you might think of certain things like uh, this is a random example abandoned cart somebody abandoned the cart um, so I want to create a new trigger for that uh, and it tries and guides you so if I do this test two it's going to ask you what are you trying to turn into a trigger? So is it when a record is updated? Like I had a client tell me this morning, every time we have a client whose account number, unique number starts with a certain letter, then we want to add them to a journey because it means they're a certain kind of client. So we use the trigger for that because that's a very clear way to use the triggers for. Or it could be when a customer in interacts with the website or an app. So we had a client and that's why it came to my mind. We said if a cart's abandoned, I immediately want somebody added onto a journey. So that was a trigger for us. OK, so that means you get the triggers that Microsoft gives you. And the great thing is they keep updating because they keep looking at what are marketeers creating, what are they requesting. So you get the updated triggers that get added because those get rolled out with the updates. Um, but then if you have something very unique, uh, which you probably will because you have you have a unique focus and an industry focus, you can also come and create those triggers in here. And it tries and guides you the whole time as you are creating that, which is now almost just normal with Dynamics Marketing and with the co-pilot added on is there's a lot of guidance in it for you as well. OK, so with how you're going to target people, things you might be thinking of today as marketing lists, when it comes to dynamics marketing or customer insights journeys, you will have segments and you will have triggers that you can create to get people either onto lists, group them, or just automatically have a journey kick off with them. Okay. Any questions? Okay, all good. Um, Okay, so you can also see that I did touch on the channels that you get and you know by now you have push notifications, you have text messages, you will have your emails, um, you can connect your website, uh, you can do surveys, but you also might have a need for a custom channel and you do have that available. So if you had something like um, a portal maybe that you wanted to connect uh, or like a, some people have delivery kiosk, any unique channel that you might be using, this means that the system does cater for that. So I can add a unique channel in as well. And the good thing about this, what I like is previously when you did this, I then had to go and customize certain things so that I can add my unique channel into email. So link those up or add it into a customer journey where now you already have tiles pre-configured for you for custom channels so it does make it a bit easier anything that you add onto the system that's not out of the box to work that into the features that you are going to be using for marketing okay 